to Kennedy, you have to work first before you eat later. And trust me, there is some food that is on the way right here at Raisins Canes here in Northeast Denver. And you know what? It's a lot of fun. You just had Catavius Caldwell Pope and Michael Porter Jr. They just left about an hour ago, but they handed out some food to some very hungry fans earlier today. It was a lot of fun to be a part of. As both MPJ and KCP, they took turns at the register and at the drive through and they also worked a shift delivering a box of chicken fingers, fries, toast, coleslaw, and cane sauce to fans. Now, fans, they had a chance to do one of two things. They had a chance to either take an order or take a picture. Some decided to do both, and they decided to do so of the guys at work behind the counter. MPJ and KCP, they also signed balls, jerseys, and all the Nuggets champ championship merch for the fans, and they were really excited to not only meet the fans, but also just to be able to spend some time with them before the parade and rally tomorrow. Very enjoyable, you know, seeing everybody just as excited as us. So to be here with the fans, you know, serve them some chicken, feels cool. Super excited just to see the turnout, see the fans be excited. Um, it makes us feel good, you know, seeing the, the videos on Twitter, you know, the fans outside going crazy. Um, and then to be able to celebrate with everybody, it's going to be a good day. Uh, it was great. You know, it's always, you know, fun to interact. I mean, they don't get an opportunity to see us as much or, like, opportunity to come to the game. So just being out here and, and, and giving them that opportunity to see us face to face, you know, it's, it's good. Now, Brian, this wasn't the first time that Michael Porter Jr. actually worked in fast food. His parents actually own a snow cone station, and Michael Porter Jr. was able to work that with his siblings. Endeavor, Justin Adams, covering Colorado First. Very cool, Justin. Hopefully you got some canes as well. We'll see you later. Our coverage of the parade and the rally starts at 9, live on air and streaming at CBS News Colorado. Tomorrow we'll be live in Civic Center Park and all along the parade route. Another headlines this afternoon, Aurora Police.